Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good day, Calvary family. Jared here, and uh, I got your next word for the day. We're going to be in Philippians chapter 1, verse 19 and 20. Uh, so Paul's writing here from a prison cell, and he's not sure if he's going to live or die. He's not certain of his fate, uh, but according to the text, he is certain of his faith. Uh, so let's read here together, beginning in verse 19. For I know through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance, as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed, but that with full courage now, as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. Uh, Paul starts off by saying he's going to keep rejoicing because he knows that the, through the prayers of the church and the help of the Holy Spirit, he's going to be delivered. And that regardless if he lives or dies in his current predicament, Christ will be magnified. Wow, what a posture to have in the midst of such an awful place to be. Uh, when I read these verses, uh, I'm absolutely encouraged and I hope you are too. If Paul can have this kind of attitude in a first century prison cell, then surely I can learn to have the same confidence in my daily life. Uh, look, we're all going to go through difficult seasons in life, but let's follow Paul's example here in that whatever we're going through, Christ can still be magnified. Amen? God bless you and have a great day.